Okay, let's take a walk around this uh, Series 3 88 inch uh, hard top with windows um, Land Rover. Um, N registration, so that's what, 1974 75, I think from memory. Um, repainted in blue uh, with a cream roof. It's got bonnet mounted spare wheel, galvanised front bumper, um, town and country tyres on it, uh, rear windows. Um, rear mounted jerry can, uh, tow pack, that's about your lot. Um, so it looks smart, has been, uh, has been repainted, there's a few sort of blemishes here and there underneath the paint, a few dents, but we'll just go around in a little bit more detail and point some of those out. Um, looks fine from the front end, nothing really to, uh, to get too excited about there. A couple of black marks just here on the leading edge of the bonnet, it's probably where the spare wheel has been moving around I should think. Um, <clears throat> looking down the near side, the near side front wing is a bit dented and crinkled as uh, they quite often are, um, just where it's been off-roaded or whatever. Um, so dented and crinkled near side front wing, slightly dented near side um, modesty panel as they call them at the front there. Um, up here around the bulkhead, doesn't look too bad at all, it all feels pretty solid around there. Um, all looks nice underneath the grills and things, or the, uh, the slats. Um, near side door looks pretty good. Door top itself is quite nice as well, it's obviously had a replacement door top from a, um, well, replacement door top fitted, looks like a, it was at some stage a fairly new one rather than a second hand one. That's in good shape. Um, Passenger door frame has got a bit of a uh, bit of rust in it, as uh, as often happens. Interior-wise, um, seats are a mixture of military and military backs. Sorry, military base and civil backs. Um, it's got a uh, centre console in there, cubby box, whatever you call it. Passenger seats in good shape, apart from one rip seam. Driver's seat uh, looks like it's been attacked by a lion or something. Um, really needs a new driver's seat back, but they're dead cheap. Um, so just to sort of uh, smarten it up a little bit inside there. Um, near side rear wing, once again, a bit dented just down here in the uh, in the near side rear corner. Um, more depression than a dent. <clears throat> Looking around the tail end, a bit of electrolytic reaction on the base of the tailgate, but uh, that's really about it. There's a hole up here, it's obviously had a, a spare wheel carrier fitted at some stage to the, um, to the tailgate. Inside the back here, it's got a very nice high lift jack that's bolted in. This is all my stuff, it doesn't come with it, but the high lift jack does. Um, standard inside, except uh, someone's put carpet on, on the uh, roof, which is not uncommon to um, um, for sound deadening. That's about it in there. Uh, carrying on round. The lens for this reversing light is missing, unfortunately. We don't have that. Um, looking down the offside rear. Um, paint's cracked here uh, on the offside rear quarter, which is the usual spot where they get caught on something or other. Um, quite badly cracked there. And there's some paint imperfection just there. Um, it's a smart landy all round, really. It's just a few imperfections here and there. Driver's door looks pretty good. Modesty panel, slightly crinkled, but no more than that. Um, offside front wing, there's a slight depression that's running just along there. Uh, another small one just there, so a couple of small dents in the offside front wing as well. Um, offside scuttle panel and stuff all looks pretty good. Can't work out if this has been brown or something at some stage in the past. Um, certainly this is blue on the V5. Um, like many Land Rovers, probably been a multitude of different colours. But the scuttle looks good on that side as well. As I say, interior wise on the driver's side. Um, door top is pretty good. Looks as if the driver's seat, the same the backrest needs to be replaced really. Um, but apart from that, nice serviceable landy really. Um, oh, excuse me, it's about to sneeze. <laughs> My name's Simon, you can reach me at 0771 906 9353 or in the office on 0118 946 3352 if you've got any issues or queries with regard to this N registration uh, Series 3 Land Rover. End.